I had planned this moment for weeks, thinking and rethinking just how it would go, everything planned to the smallest detail. I probably should have spent a little more time planning what was going to happen after that. There's a knock at the door, and when Anna's mother opens it, she grows very pale. <laughs> There, right before her eyes, is a great big green dragon. Good morning, the dragon says very politely. Have you by any chance seen my son? Hi. Miss Taylor. Oh, please, remain seated. Uh, could you just, yeah, just turn your... Hi, uh, turn, turn. Ms. Taylor? <laughs> Will you marry me? What do you think? Let me see. Show him the ring. Yes. Yes. Yes, come in. Oh, hold me closer. Closer and closer. Much closer. While the music plays. Much tighter while the rhythm sways. Oh, put your lips to mine while the music plays. We're no longer strangers. Now we're more than friends. Oh, dance with me. Dance with me closer. Closer and closer. And maybe. We'll be lovers when the music ends. Whoa, 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 Closer and closer, and maybe we'll be lovers when the music ends. Whoa. Closer and closer, and maybe we'll be lovers when the music ends. Darling, won't you please? Oh, 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 darling, won't you please? Oh, 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 darling, won't you
send her to you? If you came closer, you wouldn't have to collapse your arm. But if I came any closer, I'd be right... Well, congratulations. You've been awarded our free promotional series. Well, thank you. Thanks, but, uh, actually, I'd just like to learn that beautiful step you were just doing. That's an advanced routine. That's one of the things we'll be getting to. I'm taking my fiancé to the rainbow room oh. <laughs> tonight to celebrate our engagement. And I thought, yeah, yeah, women are a little crazy in the head about dancing. Yeah, men think it's money, power. But it isn't. Well, they can get all the women in the world if they know how to dance. Give me your hands. I'd like to teach you that step that you wanted to uh, Shouldn't I take my coat no, off? No, it'll just take one minute, okay? Thank you. Um, step back. Step back. Pull her in. Bend your knees. Mm -hmm. Push her down. And pull her up. She'll know to uh, do that? It's natural. Change sides. Huh? Walk away. Uh, pull her in. Grab her waist. Pull it tightly. Change sides. Switch. How will she know to uh, throw her arms around? She'll feel like doing it. All right, uh, hmm? if you don't mind. Step, Step back, back. Pull her in. Bend, bend, bend your knees. knees. Push her down. Pull her up. Her head thing. Hmm? Uh, switch her around. Walk away. Turn back. Pull her <clears> in. Gently. Her waist tight. Good, good. And switch. Switch. Hmm. Nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Emily will love that. God. <laughs> We were the raucous branch of the family. Aunt Helen and Uncle Jack were the sweetest people, but... No drinking, no dancing. <laughs> no sound but the books opening and closing. <laughs> so, where did you two meet? At a Fred Astaire festival. He was researching a paper on depression. And he had another psychiatric journal gig. That one was dancing through the Great Depression, I think. Gabriel gave me his grandmother's ring. Oh, is oh, this... That's right, Edith, I forgot to tell Edith's you. Edith's ring. Oh, Hello. my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> Emily, can I go with you when you go to pick out a wedding dress? See, um, I was married in a raincoat, and every time I pass one of those bridal shops, I turn into this bride. wants to get married. Wannabe. Again again. I, w I would love it. Great. Emily, want to dance? Sure. That damn bread is trying to show me up. <laughs> Isn't she a little lively for you? No. Marry a dancer? I thought I would marry you. <laughs> hey. Uh, maybe we should go back to the table. Why? Well, but isn't this a little lively for lively me? Lively mm -hmm. for you? Emily. Your love can make me do anything. I knew I had to make a few minor adjustments. Good. I'll see you next time. Okay? Okay, thanks. You. Okay. 
Drops everybody else and dances with you. That's ridiculous. Oh, really? I mean, since you started taking lessons, I've danced with her not once. You know, it's just. I'm thinking of changing my day. I mean, I don't want to be there when you're there. Come on, Jordan. It's nothing personal, Doc. I mean, it. Whew. I mean, it's just one of. It comes to women. I have high standards, you know? You know, I want to dance with the best, and Corinne is the best. I want her. Me, her. <laughs> you won't have to change. I'm going to bring my own partners in. No. You haven't asked her yet, have you? No, I've been waiting for the right don't, sort. Don't do it, Doc, okay? I mean, trust me. She's my fiance. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's just a really bad idea. I mean, couples don't learn things together. They always get into fights. There's always these... It just, it just never works. And look, look, even more important, you don't want Emily meeting Corinne before the wedding. It's a bad idea. No matter how you've described her, no matter what you've said, I mean, she's not going to be ready for a sexy body and that kind of do it look that she has and the thin and the black skirts. Don't do it. Big mistake. Are you speaking to someone? Professionally? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and make fun of me. But I tell you, you now, when it comes to women, I'm the professional, you're the amateur. Hey, would you get this? I'm going to shake hands with my wife's best friend. charge of this place. Oh, well that's Bud. He's the one over there in the green shirt. All right, now you walk side together, right? Okay, stay over your center. And yeah, not in the yellow pages. Yeah. We missed the deadline. Well, you will make it through the first six months on walking. And look around. You have more teachers and students. What you need is an experienced manager. You need some help here. It's not a manager. Well, um, you know, I could, um, how about it's not another teacher. It's pupils I need. Madam. You're not leaving without my dance. Oh, uh, I'm afraid I'm late. I have an appointment. Well, I've been hoping to dance with you since you came in. <laughs> I'm 
Let's turn you out. Hey, one, two. And back. And one, two. And here I am. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you. You see that coat? That is beyond mink. That is Park Avenue. Can you imagine how many friends she will bring in here? I really need this job. We'll see how it is someday. Give me a chance. Let me offer a free series. You won't regret it. I promise you. It's a great investment. May I offer you a free series? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's wonderful. Same time tomorrow. All right. You have danced before. Oh, no, no. Oh, I yes. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. what, what is your name? I'm John, and you are... Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Uh, 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 yeah, I yeah, know yeah, yeah. you're in better shape than I am. No, 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 no. You, you have much better shape. Hmm. Ready? Do you think maybe we're rushing the wedding? What? Why? Well, I mean, do you think we have enough time to get ready? You know, the normal engagement time in New York City is a year. Where did you hear that? I looked it up. You looked up the normal engagement <laughs> span for couples in New York City? Where? Is there like a book with that information in it? or? Well, on the internet, I did. I asked. Sweetie, you're nervous. At your wedding, you want it to be perfect. It's perfectly normal to be nervous. Are you nervous? No, not at all. Absolutely not. Yes, I am. Hugely nervous. I have much nervousness. But, uh, wedding's gonna be great. I have a plan. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. What? It involves both of us and not falling down. No. Come on, no, why not? No, the two of no, us will just go for a couple of quick lessons. that couples can't learn very well together. No. Mm -mm. You just think I'm not good enough. No, that's you don't think I'm true. agile. No, that's not true. Please, I have to fall down with you. You're the only one I can fall with, please. Well, all right, if you promise to be very lively. Maybe. These are nine and a half. Maybe that'll be better. We're not like the old kind of dance studios. That just teaches by patterns or steps. We, uh... You know, we teach dance by feeling. The feeling between two bodies. See, you've got to listen to your partner. She's your barometer. She's always got to be balanced. Right. If she's not, that's your fault. Bud, the landlord's here. Hmm. These are good. You know, do people at parties in cabs, you know, they ever try to get free advice? Sometimes. And what do they say? Doc, I think I'm going crazy. What should I do? They say my brother's having trouble putting his life together. Yeah, and you have to be careful with the seating because you could hurt a lot of feelings about who's on the dais or not. No, no, no I, I want, want Emily to have the tradition traditional wedding that she planned. <laughs> I don't really want a dance. So, Emily, you haven't even started looking for a dress? Well, we I... haven't even chosen a first dance yet. 
Everything is dancing with Gabriel these days. Oh, well, it's a way of... Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Men on top are... Uh, it's no good. <laughs> if, you, if you see a guy oh. doing that on the dance floor, you know he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Step back, right foot. Okay. Slow, quick. Oh, right. Quick, slow. Like that? Quick. Gabe, good job. Very good. I have a great teacher. I'd like you to put your palms up facing me. Like that. I want you to slowly walk towards me. You're going to try to feel the energy between us. Just try it, okay? Slowly. Um, wait a minute. I'm I'm not quite ready yet. Gabriel, go back. The distance is a little different for every two people. So slowly. Good. Closer. 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 Do you feel that? Can you feel the heat between our palms? Can you feel this connection? They call this exercise uh, closer, closer. Makes sense. Yeah. foot you want to go forward together and back together and forward wow you look great you look gorgeous really yes you look unbelievable it doesn't it's just great see i love all that you do oh, oh. i don't know i feel like princess diana or something that's good <laughs> why would you rather wear my raincoat You were nervous before you got married, right? I'm still nervous, Doc. <laughs> Why, what? Did she leave you? She <laughs> all. No, I'm nervous that I'll get bored with her. Leave her. You know, we're men. I mean, we're hunters, you know? We have this uncontrollable urge to, to conquer something, you know, and go after something new or someone new, you know? I mean, it's not really our fault. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like genetics. We're programmed like that. You know, programmed to get bored with the same old. I'm actually amazed that I'm still married. Why are you still married? You know, what, what's the what? secret? Yeah. Oh, the secret? Oh, sure. You're going to take the secret and then charge all your patients $100 an hour to tell them my secret. I don't know what the damn secret is, man. I'm, I'm happy with her, you know, and she's happy with me. That's the secret, you know. We're happy with each other. I make her happy. Step back with your right foot. Mm-hmm. No, don't don't watch me. Feel me. If we don't feel each other, we'll fall. And <laughs> we know what happens then. <laughs> yeah. And back. Oh. No, we have to be as close as two people can be, but still with with enough space. Okay. See, the woman has to take her cues from the man. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Well, she has to stay balanced. If she's not, it's my fault. Well, why would it be your fault? Well, Would you say that I'm not balanced. No, 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 no. Hasn't that no? Hang on. Stand there. <clears throat> I'm going to stand here with my palms up. You put your palms up, too. Come on. Let's try this exercise. Go it closer, closer. And we'll feel the moment when we're connecting, when our palms... I surrender! Our solar plexus. Come on, be serious. Connect, okay? So just walk slowly towards one another. Come on. You'll start to feel the heat between the hands and then move it to the whole... Oh, 
Wait. Oh, help. I like this exercise. This is a fun exercise. Oh. Ellie, yeah. does it make you happy? Me? I'm the girl who you said had three moods. Happy, ecstatic, <laughs> and enormously pleased. You remember that? I know. No, that was before you met me, though. Do I make you happy? I love you, Gabriel. It's not the same thing. Of course it is. I know what happy was until I met you. You sure? Mm-hmm. I'll show you how to show. Hey. Hey. You're overturning. You're overleading me. Stay there. See? This desk chair has a steady flow. Stays in the same relation to me. Steady movement of torso. I don't know why you can't do it. The chair can. Right, everybody look. Bud's found his perfect partner. Um, I can't talk back to him. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. We want to open up dance studios all over the world. You know, dance with me in, in London, Paris, Venice. Mm. And that would be the place to learn. Mm. Not that it would make me Fred Astaire. Gabriel, okay, you're doing very, very well. Do you think so? I know so. The best student you've ever had. Mm. <laughs> God, when I first saw the two of you together, I ah, absolutely clicked that first day. I, that's exactly how I wanted to be with Emily. That. Mm. And uh, you make it look easy. Uh, it's much tougher than I thought. You know, when I hear you talking about Emily, I don't know, I have fantasies about uh, Bud and I being like the two of you. Planning a wedding. Thinking about a family. I mean, that's tougher than I imagined. How long have you been together? Almost two years. I had never been in a committed relationship before. Um, then I met Bud, and we've been together since that first day. But he's a very, very sweet guy. He's just, um, he's a little rough around the edges. It seemed rough when you danced together. No, that's the one thing we actually can do. <laughs> You're lucky to have each other, to, to share a passion like that. Passion? Oh, yeah, we got passion, all right, Doc. We got passion like, uh, like gasoline has a passion for matches, you know? The explosions there, they're spectacular. But the burns, they, they hurt. Some people go their whole lives without knowing spectacular. Hi. Hello. You here for the introductory party? Well, I think I'm a little early, but I'm supposed to meet my fiancé, Dr. Rudman. In fact, I think he's already here. You want to hang up your coat? Slow quote, eh? Switch. Hey. Hi, you came early. You? No, no, not at all. We're just, you want to join us? Why don't you join us? I'm getting much better, I promise. Come on. This is my fiance, Emily. Now, this is uh, Corinne. Hello. Very nice to meet Hi, you. Nice to meet Bo. you. Bud, you've got a telephone call. Uh, I'll see you later, Emmy. Uh, don't call her Emmy unless you want to get killed. Well, welcome. We'll <laughs> start you. with the Foxtrot or maybe the Cha Cha? Uh, the Cha Cha. How about the Cha Cha? Okay. Um, good. Cha Cha. Remember, Gabriel, you want to hold her close, but you also want to give her a little room. And. Oh, sorry. No, that was great. That no, was great. I miss it less. Thing. Let's try the same thing again. This time, Emily, I'd like you to close your eyes. Oh, good. Yes, that's good. Close your eyes. Just follow. Yeah, try it. It works. Just try to follow. One, two, three, cha cha cha. Oh, look at that. See how she trusts you. Okay, wait. Okay, we're coming through. 
They just did a beautiful job. We did. We did a beautiful job. We, we should foxtrot. What do you want? Okay. Right. Um, you so, want to go pick out the music? Um, Help me let me put my... Uh, yes. Okay. You must have been as surprised as I was. Yeah. This is Foxtrot, right? This is Foxtrot. Yes, it is. But you can do a waltz. Put out the pamphlets and people sign up for classes. Gabriel. So I did the cha-cha. I you did this, the cha-cha you wonderfully. You can do anything you want. You'll find them and you can... How long has it been? It's been 14 years since I saw you last. 12. It's been 12 years, actually. How's your father? Still working in the shoe store? Well, you know, that, that chain closed. And no. He didn't have any pension. He died about a year later. I didn't know. These things happen, right? So he put his life into that store. He must have felt no, devastated. No, he was smiling. Like he always did. And he was lying in the oxygen tent and he turned to my mother and he said, Rosa, we did it all. And then he was gone. Why didn't you let me know? Ask Tim. Oh, he's engaged. Really? To a guy. What? <laughs> no, Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, he's very he's happy. High. I'm guessing. You two know each other? <laughs> uh, from high school. Yeah. From we, high school? Yeah. We grew up in the same neighborhood. You mind if I cut in here? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. It's in Queens, you mean? Yeah. I'm enjoying dancing with you. I'm glad. No, I mean it. With a student, it's something special when you suddenly find you're enjoying the dance. <laughs> I'm going to go put on some different music. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. I can't... I found a great guy here with a dog, I mean. Yeah. Uh, that must have been the cake that was there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we were putting in a dance team. Dance team? You, you were a dance team? Yeah, yeah. dance team. Cool. When I was in diapers. All right, um, tell me, can you cut the music? I'm sorry, I got a showtime in 15 minutes. Uh, a showtime doesn't start till after 11. But it was getting a little draggy, bud. You were a you were a dance team with Bud? Well, I yeah, but I was I really young. I can't believe it. Mm-hmm.
Have you decided on the first dance yet? I think maybe the waltz. Or the, I'm, I'm best at the samba so far. Well, why don't you finish the free lesson series as a couple? Yeah, you got a minute? Emily's already a great dancer. No, I'm not. Mm. Well, no, you are. Oh, you were dancing all Oh, time? listen. She really would love you to do it. Say yes. What do you think? Yes. See how nice the party is? Oh. What nice people? Mm -hmm. Here. Why don't you invite your friends? Maybe even with their husbands. We could give you a couple's rate. Oh, no. They're far too busy with other things. The opera, the bridge. Yes, well, I guess this is slumming when you're not playing bridge or tunnel or whatever you and your friends play. has done a terrible thing. Hot soup. Alright, the soup is hot. Drink it soon. Lady, you gotta go to the back of the... doing here? Can I help? Uh, Laura, Phil, this is uh, Mrs. Dinnerstein. Um, Hello. They're, uh, they're going to be coming to uh, the studio for some coaching tomorrow. I'm trying to get pupils for Bud. Oh, really? John's the best. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. There you go. Lady, may I have All another right. milk? I've got a sick friend. Oh, yes, of course. How's it going? Thank you. She's got socks out of the Here you are. You see that guy? He hands out the food. He gets extra. All right. Phil, will you wait for me? I'm going to... Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to get you a cab. Would you be my guest for lunch tomorrow? Oh, I'd like that. You danced really well tonight. You did. I mean with your other partner. Bud. My mentor. My guide through the world of dance. <laughs> Did you go out with Bud? In high school. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. You were Bud and Emmy dance team. Were you uh, conjugal in any way with uh, Bud? Conjugal? <laughs> you were hot. You were mm. on the floor on the dance. <laughs> Nothing compared to how we're going to be at our wedding. Remember, my dear, don't anticipate. Now, if you handle it this way, bud, you'll get a better response. Let's try it. You can never steal time. You'll never work. Fill the time. Fill the music. Annie, get your gun. We saw that the night Sai and I got engaged. It was just one night. Uh, the Frank Butler was sick and so was the understudy. I was a dancer in the show, but they'd heard me sing. And they said, do you know his part? Did I know his part? I knew her part. <laughs> I got out on the stage, and it was like, it was like the safest place I'd ever been. The account. So I thought I would take all the CDs out and give you the money to take care of. But I, 
I'm not in money management. Oh, that's all right. I don't need to make a profit. It'll last me at the rate I'm going. But, but why me? You don't know me. I saw you at that van. A man who cares about being good to people. You don't know me. I followed instinct all my life. Sai so never knew how we met. <laughs> I followed him down the street and into a coffee shop and sat in his line of vision until he noticed me. He died thinking he had married a girl. He had decided to pick up over a grilled cheese hamburger at the Tiptoe Inn. So then you will take care of my money for me? I couldn't do that. Blinis, smoked salmon. That's lovely. Have a yard for the gentleman. No, no, no. But I invited you. Another time, perhaps. Oh, you're like my side, so many ways. Couldn't stand to have a woman pay. No one ever followed me in any place. I followed you. Oh, last night? No, the first afternoon. I was waiting for my bus. I saw you, I turned around and waited in front of that door. You don't really believe that I can't open a door, do you? Until you rescued me and we walked into the studio together. It's not for my friend. She's unique. This is very nice. It has white flowers, like Marie Antoinette's garden. Uh-huh. If I expected love... Now, if we got the first two right... When first we jasmine came, might not be amiss. Blame it on my youth. If only just for you I did exist Blame it on my youth I believed in everything Like a child of three And the jasmine, of course, is perfect You meant more than anything uh, uh, just the small atomizer size uh, you do have that don't you yes, yes. Uh, how much is it i'm at 68.19 with tax so we can then replenish during the walls and the foxtrot progressions you go dancing my boyfriend can't dance oh then you should bring him to the studio or or, or come yourself to a friday night party oh yes yeah. yeah. you love it and sleep and pray Blame it on my youth And if I cry a little bit When first I learn the truth Don't blame it on my heart Blame it on my you. So how long have you two been together? Six months. Is that all? Well, it only took me six months to realize that he's got his feet on the ground. 
and that he wasn't going to leave me. I came back. I went there. You came back? Yeah, I came back. Okay, then you came back. We'll be waiting for you in Studio B. All right. Wedding dance. Wedding dance. Now, I think the obvious choice is Foxtrot. The man has to navigate the woman around the room so she doesn't bump into anybody. They'll be alone on the floor, bud. Here she comes, Doc. Oh. Wow. Sorry. It was excellent. I saved you. <laughs> So remind me again how that uh, zigzag goes, bud. Yes. Slow. Side together. Oh, right, right, right. Slow. Side together. Good. Oh, sorry. Uh, my fault. My fault. I'm gonna do it from this yeah, yeah. step right up. Um, look, we could always do a waltz. Oh, a waltz is a good. Waltz would be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love a waltz. Isn't it too romantic? It's over the top. Well, let's just try one. A wedding is romantic. It's. And one, two, three, and one, two. Three. And a rising action and a falling action. Rising action, falling action. Right. Uh, maybe it is a little over the top. Uh, well, uh, how about swing? What? Swing. The swing? No, it's I step. Don't want to do the swing. Step. Yes, you do. Back step. Watch you go. Step. Yeah, you can do the swing, step. Doc. It's very fifty. Step. Step. I mean, you still love swing. Step. Your arms down. Step, 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 step. Yeah, um, just, sorry. Can we just try, let's just concentrate on one dance, getting one dance right. And get the particulars of that, and then we can move on. Okay. Um, okay. That, that um, I suggest Gabriel and I work separately for a bit. We're not quite ready for company, I don't think. Yeah, we'll try the foxtrot. Foxtrot. All right. So do you just... Leave that couple alone. How are you doing? Hmm? Better than you. <laughs> right, don't, don't. Don't what? I, I feel you're working your way up to I told you so. No, no, I didn't tell you nothing. I mean, I didn't see that one coming. Bud and Emily doing right, it in right, high no. school. Oh, and man. They were doing it. <laughs> they were just dancing partners. Just dancing partner people. Oh, just dancing partner All right, people. all right, Professor, what, what do I do? Look, man, this is what you gotta do. You gotta leave the dance studio. You gotta say goodbye to Bud and Corinne. I mean, you know, you gotta give up this fantasy about this fancy dance at your wedding. If you really want to go through this wedding, you gotta make Emily the most important thing in your life. Nothing else. She doesn't want to stop taking dance lessons. What were you doing at the Astaire Festival? What? The Astaire Film Festival. Why were you there? I live for Astaire. You love but. Am I right? I'm right. No, you're not right. 
No. Well, no. Those were my wilder days. I was young, I was stupid. I thought we could try the song tomorrow. You were stupid, and then what happened? You, uh, it ended badly. Uh, you got hurt. You went uh, looking for something safer, someone with his feet on the ground, like me. That's what you said. Are you trying to analyze No, me? I'm not anal... And what are you doing? Are you in love with him? Are you in love with him? I love you. You're acting crazy. I'm, I'm feeling crazy. I'm acting psychothymic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just forget about this dancing thing, all right? Just forget about it. We don't need to do it. We, we've learned enough to do the wedding, okay? Let's just not go back there, all right? Well, we might as well finish out the series. Why? I'm going to go to this conference, I think. I thought you decided not to go. My, don't you look nice. What's the loser's limo doing downstairs? What? The Emerald Knights Casino car. They give free rides home for the losers. The more you lose, the more perks they give you. Well, this time it's for me. I'm going to a conference in Atlantic City. I guess they had some empty extra cars or something. Um, Gabriel, when do you think he'll be returning? I, uh, I think I've gone about as far as I can with the lessons. see what it's like when people look at you. They 
Don't see that. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Oh, cheers. So, Dr. Rudman. Yes? What's the hardest thing about what you do? Your patience. Always the hardest. You have to listen, see what's going on, try to build something. Some people I cannot figure out how to deal with, but it's my fault because I haven't found out how to read them yet, you know? That's the way I feel about people who can't dance. I don't understand them. Exactly. But, you know, you find out what you can. Make them feel safe. And use your instincts. I see you do it all the time. You're very good at it. Thank you. I mean it. If you can help someone out, learn a little something along the way, that's a good thing. You did it for me. Good things are rare. Uh, good things are are rare. You're not going to believe I still have this. Oh, my gosh. Smells like mothballs. Look at all the mistakes I made. I spent months making this for you. I missed you. These years are going to pass and when I get to be an old man, it'll never stop. It's always you. This is Gabriel's desk. Yes. This is Gabriel's pen and pen holder. Don't, don't touch him. Don't. No, don't touch that. This is Gabriel's dictaphone? No, that's some notes. Oh, sorry. And this is Gabriel's pilot. What is this? Patients who haven't paid me. Oh. And this is Gabriel's lamp. Mm-mm. No? No, seriously, that's a man. Give me that. That's a good... Oh. Mm-mm. Hmm? No, don't. No? No. Hmm? Don't, don't, no. Uh-uh. Oh! <laughs> Okay. We gotta take this away from this. <laughs> this is, um, this, this is an abuse of the professional. I've always wanted you. It's not me. You know, just been a fantasy, really. I can't do this. Well, maybe it's worked out for the best, then. That's just so typical, isn't it? What's typical? Well, that you just don't lay claim to what you really want. That's not true. I wanted you. You left me. I left? Oh, come on. I went on a dance tour. It was for the moment with a bunch of guys. And what kind of relationship is that? You left without even letting me know you were leaving. I knew if I didn't get away, I'd never get out. I wasn't about to end up like my old man. Working on his schemes till he dropped dead. Or your dad working nights and weekends and this someone else's about my story. dad or your dad. You were scared. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it all adds up to the same thing, really. 
Now don't start something and not finish. You would have made the same decision I did. What are you telling me? That while you were on your dance tour, I was 17 and pregnant. What? I told my mother. Wait, you, you, you told your mother, not me? I mean, her maternal reflexes kicked in, and she said it'll probably kill your father, so she went with me to the clinic. Why didn't you let me know? I would have come back in a second, you know that. Well, look, I, I sent you cards and letters. I never got an answer. How was I supposed... Yeah, I got your cards. They just came too late. Well, my mother always knew where I was. What was I supposed to do? Go begging to your mother for your dress? You know how she felt about me. Well, what would have happened anyway if you had come back? I mean, my mother thought... That... Yeah, your mother must have hated me. <laughs> my mother didn't hate you. In fact, even when I was moving out, she told me that I was stupid if I didn't go back and find you. But then again, I didn't always listen to my mother. Yeah, that's the truth. But by that time, it would have been too late. You'd already done what you decided to do. It would have been over. You know, it's funny about that. It's never really over. friendly. The doc doesn't know that I was the one, does he? No. You never told him about it at all? Well, he thinks of me as a girl who's always happy, so... You underestimate him, ma'am. He's a good guy. You know, sometimes I watch him in the morning while he's still asleep. And I know that when he opens his eyes, he'll smile because he thinks with me the world is a happy place. So I'm off time after all, huh? I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little while to find the rhythm, even with the right partner. You know, if Corinne wasn't dancing with me, she could have got a lot farther. No, she's got the most beautiful feet in the business. Really? Yeah. And I dance with her like I do with nobody else. Hello? What is that? I don't know. What? Oh, my gosh. Gabriel, I forgot to lock up the studio. I was here. I uh, didn't uh, see anyone. I, I thought I heard something. Yes, John. Uh, what the hell is he doing? I just heard the sound of feet coming hey, down. Hey, John. The... But what's going on? I uh, I was here late. I fell asleep for a while, and I woke. I heard the alarm. There was running feet. Hi. 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 Uh, you got a call? Uh, yeah, I got a call. <laughs> what? I thought I thought you went to Atlantic City. I, no, I, well, she... I decided to come back. What are you doing here? Uh, we... Did you? Oh, I called her. You called, you called her? her? Uh, when I heard the alarm, I, called... I didn't know what to do. I called everyone inside. You wanna? Yeah, let's see what's. Just do me a favor. Leave him alone. She loves him. She can't keep two men at once, bud. It isn't fair. And anyway, he isn't complaining. She wants him. Yeah. Okay, well, here's an idea. We all do what we want. Maybe he'll get hurt. Maybe she'll get hurt. And maybe I'll hit the jackpot. And you'll get hurt. And how can I reach you? I can give you a daytime number in my office. You can call. Are you ready to go home? I'm going to stay at the office tonight. I'll, uh... 
Thanks. Uh, miss, I'll need your card, too. Uh, bye, John. Yeah, bye. Anybody got that old guy's address? stuff, thanks. Sure. Well, we screwed this up, didn't we? Here's your key. Um, here's your ring. Are you in love with her? No, I'm not. It's not about her. Then what is it about? Why do you cry in the morning when you think I'm asleep? I thought that if you saw me cry, you would leave me. Why? I didn't want to be like all those people you talk to all day long. I didn't want to be a burden to you. And you wanted to be loved by sunshine, so... wasn't a very good partner to you, Gabriel. I wasn't much of a listener. I'll see you. I'll see you.
Lovely bride to the loveliest of brides. Certainly got that old world charm. <laughs> oh, Corian, I'd like to introduce you to my ball and chain, Louise. Hi. Louise is my thank teacher. Thank you so much, Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please sit down. Gosh. Um, wow, you How long have you two been married for? Ten years. Oh, I'm sure they're wonderful. How do you know? Give me another one, will you? Uh, my uh, brother's having trouble putting his life together. Can I have him give you a call? Sure. I'll have him use my name. Thank you. Put that under your pillow and you'll dream of the man you'll marry. Oh, don't talk like a romance novel, Gabriel. Don't talk like a cynic, Corinne. You know, you were the only one who ever wanted to talk with me. Everyone else wanted to dance. You're the only one who ever wanted to dance with me. Everyone else wants to talk. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Keep your shoulder down, Doc. Starting to drift. Thanks. I'll see you there. Corinne. It's right there in front of you. This is a much nicer wedding than the one that I planned. Oh, yours would have been fine. No, it would have been predictable. You know, like that silver vegetable dish that Gabriel's Aunt Frida gave us. Put my subway tokens in it. Aren't you supposed to return it? She died. Speak to him. Only on the phone about details. Is anything I can do? No. So, Doc, is it normal to want to sleep with every girl in a room? Depends on the size of the room. <laughs> How about a room like this? Yeah. Normal. Good. Corinne. Bud, get out of my way. Bud, get out of my way. Can't we just talk? Please get out of my way. Well, how can I get out of your way when I can't even get out of my own? I'll go ask him. Why don't you two dance for us? Oh, Jordan. Yeah, come yes, on, Corinne, please, dance. Please, please. 
Corinne, aren't you going to dance to my wedding? Of People just belong together. I remember the first moment I saw you. You were sitting in the dark. And you had that pencil with a little light on the end. And you bent over and the light was shining in your face and I could see that you were smiling up a ginger on the screen. <laughs> and I remember thinking how lucky the woman in his life must be, the woman that he smiles at every day. You thought that when you saw me, about how lucky the woman in my life was? Well, I couldn't imagine you without someone. Why? But then I wasn't so sure, because I thought that she would have stopped you from wearing those awful shoes. <laughs> so now? <laughs> well, so now you can have any woman you want.
guess things do eventually have a way of working out. Jordan and Louise decided the couples could learn to dance together. Last month, they won the Rising Star Merengue Contest in Asbury Park. John and Marguerite just celebrated their second anniversary. At the Russian Tea Room, of course. Bud and Corinne have opened new dance studios in New York and Venice. Unfortunately, Bud's is in New York and Corinne's is in Venice. But you never know, they still talk once a month. As for Emily and me, we seem to have finally learned that love has its own rhythm. And I think we found ours. Mom gave me this. It's real snow. Thank you, Jackie. That was very good. So, who's next? Oh, I think it might be my turn. Turn around, face yourself, look deep in the sky. Crime, comedy, and romance make a fascinating combination next this Saturday afternoon. Meredith Baxter is a jail thief who gets a reprieve when she's tapped to help Detective Robert Urich solve a series of mysterious deaths. She knows too much in a moment. Oh, you gotta be. Every word, every wish needs to be spoken. 